Well, hi there, all you Drag Race fans. Are you ready for an episode recap? Because I know I am. So last week, we had to say goodbye to Cynthia Lee Fontaine and her cuckoo. It was really sad. But anyway, this week, it's all about new wave drag queens. And the theme of the week was bright neon punk rock, pop, crazy 80s. And I absolutely loved it. Um, so let's just get right to it. There was no mini challenge this week. RuPaul came out and told all the girls that for their maxi challenge this week, they will be divided into three teams of three and will be performing as new wave punk rock groups in front of a live audience. Each of the girls got to pick their own team members. And so on the first team, we had Kim Chi, Naomi Smalls, and Robbie Turner, and they were team Laid Chicken Wings. Okay. The other team was no surprise there. It was all the New York queens on one team, and it was Thorgy Thor, Bob the Drag Queen, and Acid Betty, and they were team Street Meats. And last, and kind of least, was Derek Berry, Nisha Lopez, and Chi Chi Devane, and they were team Dragometry, also known as Team Leftovers. Nisha and Derek seem to really be trying to pull the group together and make something really work, whereas Chi Chi Devane was kind of just on his own and wanting to focus on his outfit and kind of ignoring the other girls, and they got the vibe that he did not want to be on a team with them, and honestly, I don't blame him. I would not want to be on a team with them either. I would try to make the best of it if I was in his situation, but it's clear to say that Nisha and Derek are the weakest queens there. And I think there's a little bit of animosity now between Bob the Drag Queen and Thorgy Thor because they're both the comedy queens of the group. And I think overall, they've both probably gotten the best critiques from the judges in this competition. So I think there's a little bit more um, competitiveness coming out of the both of them because while they were sitting there with Acid Betty trying to figure out how to um, make the song work and what to do, you could just see the wheels turning and Bob was getting annoyed with Thorgy and Thorgy was getting distracted by the other teams. So it was kind of kind of messy to watch. And now let's talk about the main subject of this week, Bob the Drag Queen versus the world. He seemed to be getting into it with Thorgy, Acid Betty, and not to mention Lucian, which brings us to the next part of the episode. All of the girls got to go into rehearsal with Lucian Piani, Team Dragometry, um, he did not like the fact that Derek Barry was going, oh. Calm down, Brittany. Bob the Drag Queen and Lucian seemed to be getting into it because Lucian was giving them all these references and Bob didn't understand them. And then he had mentioned something about try being more like Lord, who Bob's like, oh, I can't stand her. And... <laughs> I think Bob was just more frustrated with his team and he was taking it out on Lucian. Clearly he should not have been doing that. As Bianca Del Rio says, take the advice they give you and apply it to the challenge. And Bob, I know you've worked with Bianca in the past. You should know better. So then the girls went to the main stage to perform in front of a live audience. We were also introduced to the guest judges, Chris Stein, the creator of the band Blondie and the lead singer of the band Blondie herself, Debbie Harris. So. I honestly couldn't hear a lot of what any of the teams were singing or saying. All I got was a lot of food references, and I don't remember RuPaul saying that was like what the emphasis of the challenge was, but maybe it was and I missed it somewhere. I'll have to rewatch the episode because I was a little lost about all the food that they were talking about. I did get very hungry during the episode, I will say that. Team Lay Chicken Wings, they were really good. I thought when Robbie Turner first came on stage, I said, is Layla McQueen back in the competition? But um, they were really good. I thought Naomi looked great. Kim Chi had a lot of great energy and I loved her punk rock look. Team Street Meets, even though Bob the Drag Queen had all that drama with Lucian, he seemed to be doing pretty well. He seemed a little stiff, but I think that may have been part of the whole gag. Um, Thorgy, great energy. And actually, I know that Michelle did not like Acid Betty's outfit, but I actually thought it was really, really cute. And it was completely 180 from any of the looks that she's given us on the main stage, which Michelle, you did say you wanted to see something different. And then Team Dragometry came out. I will say I thought Chi Chi Devane did a pretty good job and I thought her makeup was flawless. Derek Berry, he actually wasn't 
horrible, but he was pretty mediocre. Nisha, she kind of, I think, took charge of this group, and I think that hurt them a lot. She said that she wanted everyone to have shapes on their heads. To quote Miranda Priestly, shapes, groundbreaking. And then next up was the runway, and I'm going to do things a little bit differently from here on out. I am going to talk about my least favorite runway look all the way to my most favorite. And for the theme of this runway, it was neon realness. So the girl that I thought did the weakest on the runway was Thorge Thor. She had this really short, like, glittery dress on, but she had, like, the cheapest wig, and she had, like, Tony the Tiger makeup. I did not get it whatsoever. And then next, Nisha Lopez. She had this sort of neon, and I thought it was a jumpsuit, but she said that it was body paint. Then next up was Derek Barry. The only thing that put him above Nisha and Thorgy for me was the fact that he just looked pretty. And I mean, that's all he's pretty much given on the runway. It's just very, very basic, 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 basic. And from here on out, I am going to play my own little game when I watch the show. As long as Derek Barry's here, I'm going to be taking a shot every single time he quotes Britney because he does it like five times an episode and it is driving me nuts and I could really use a drink. Next was Chi Chi Devane. She had a pink swimsuit and a little belt and a whip. Not the nicest outfit and it did look pretty cheap but I actually thought her makeup was fantastic. She's got really good makeup skills. I loved her hair and I thought she actually looked pretty good. Robbie Turner. He was serving us some Marie Antoinette neon realness. Well, more like Kirsten Dunst as Marie Antoinette. Acid Betty was just Nosferatu on acid. She had the long fingers and she had the gills. So I think she was going for a fishy look. Up next was Kim Chi. I had to pause my TV like four or five times when she was on the runway because I was like, what is that? But. I finally realized it. She was like a combination of a really, really gay Zorro meets Picasso. If you haven't watched the episode and this is the only insight you have so far on it, I highly recommend you check out her runway look because it is freaking amazing. It's fantastic. Next was Bob the Drag Queen and he had pink like spewing out of his head and he wore like these giant yellow flared pants. It was really cool to see Bob give us more of like a high fashion look because so far he's given us kind of like kitschy kind of campy looks but this was a little bit more stronger and I thought it was really great. And now my favorite look of the week is Naomi Smalls. She had a cute little pink skirt, pink little bra and a pink little hat and bright yellow hair. She looked like something right out of an aqua music video from the 90s. I thought she looked fantastic and I really thought it was simple but sometimes simplicity really works best for these girls and so the team that no one thought was going to be threatening ended up winning the challenge this week. It was team Lay Chicken Wings but the main winner was Robbie Turner who I have to agree I thought he did a really good job. Girl that spit that you did to the audience sealed it. And then when the judges got to critiquing the girls, Derek Barry and Nasha Lopez and Chi Chi Devane seemed to be kind of throwing each other under the bus. And then it kind of got a little awkward with the judges. I will say I liked Chris Stein there a lot. He was like, I watch every episode. He must have said that like 10 times. And I loved it that he clocked Chi Chi Devane for wearing the same boots on the main stage as he did in the challenge. <laughs> that is true judging. So after the judges deliberated, the bottom two was Nasha Lopez and Chi Chi Devane. And they had to lip sync to Blondie's song, Call Me. And within one second of this lip sync, Nasha had already taken off her shoes. Barefoot? Really, Queen? You're going to perform barefoot? And then her wig snatched off too, like in the middle of the lip sync. She looked like Pebbles from Flintstones dancing there on stage. She looked stupid. And also, Chi Chi did a really great job. She can jump circles around Nisha for sure. But I really am not a fan of when drag queens do a ton of like cartwheels and backflips and things like that. It's fun at first if they do it like once or twice, but when they just do it excessively, it just, to me, I feel like I'm watching like a gymnast, not a drag queen. So that kind of takes away the fantasy for me. But in the end, it was clear that Chi Chi slayed it and Nisha, standing there barefoot with no wig, got told to sashay away again. 
And it just goes to show that bringing back an eliminated queen usually doesn't mean much on the show because they typically get booted out either the very next episode or the episode after that. And I have to say, I think it was a complete waste bringing her there. I was totally fine with her being eliminated in the first episode, and I'm totally fine with her being eliminated in this episode. <laughs> so that was it. I thought this was a pretty exciting episode, but I do think the queens this season, they're not bad at all, they're just really, really whiny. Like, they seem to be fighting a lot, and I think maybe it has something to do with maybe like the New York queens because they're so loud and outspoken, and then you got some of the more quiet queens um, like Naomi Smalls and Kimchi, but I feel like they're very, very like complainy this season, which I don't like. So hopefully that will shift because I do think this is a great cast of girls. Um, we're now down to eight, so I'm really excited to see who's gonna win this competition. So thanks so much for watching. Please feel free to comment, share, subscribe, like. Um, I think that's everything you can do. Like, comment. I believe so. So thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys next week. Bye.